Gone is the mantra of get big or get out. The future of farming is in looking at smaller solutions, according to Gindi grain grower Andrew Bate. Mr Bate is the founder of Swarm Farm Robotics, which can be programmed to tackle specific on-farm problems such as weed control and used within broad acre landscapes. I looked at what we're doing in agriculture and the trend's been to get larger and larger machines, more and more complicated machines, and, and machines are getting heavier. There's been this mad productivity rush to get the most acres a day per man in the field. And, you know, that's made machines bigger and wider and heavier. And, you know, are these large, big machines actually the best way to grow crops? And that's, that's what I question. I, I don't believe they are. For me, it's about unlocking new farming systems. How can we use robots in our farming system to grow crops in a better way? The Bate Family Partnership runs a mixed farming operation spanning 4,000 hectares in the Emerald region, including 2,000 head of beef cattle, as well as dry land, winter wheat and chickpeas and summer sorghum. With the support of the Queensland University of Technology, Sydney University, the Australian Centre for Field Robotics, Bendee Farming and the Fitzroy Basin Association, Mr Bate has taken his idea through the research phase to now running prototype robots for six hour deployments in his own farming system. As you can see it's pretty simple, there's not a lot to it. Um, you know they're a fairly lightweight machine, they only weigh sort of a few hundred kilos and you can pick up one side of it pretty much. Mr Bate believes robots tasked with doing simple, specific jobs very well will add new flexibility to the way in which farmers, large and small, go about their business. Dividing it down to small machines that are sort of three to six metres wide, and we have more of them. And, and um, these machines run 24 hours a day and seven days a week. That's where we're headed with these machines. They weigh a couple hundred kilos and take a couple hundred kilo payloads on them as well. The concept has captured the imagination of the farming industry, with Mr Bate called upon to present his ideas at a range of forums, including last year's Grains Research and Development Corporation's Northern Updates. The next step is developing a commercial prototype and eventually seeing the technology adopted by industry and on sale to producers. We don't know what the cost of a, of a robot will be. Um, it's got to depend on just how big we do make them and how complicated they end up being how much technology goes on board. Um, so I guess at this stage um, we can't commit to that cost. Um, but you know we do see robots being small, simple machines. Um, and that means they won't be very expensive.